Hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. I'm Rich Crampanis. Thanks so much for logging on to ShoreSportsZone.com. After a couple of days of break, Holiday Hoops back in full swing. We start here in Tom's River at the WOVM Christmas Classic. Our first of four games of girls action from Friday starts with the Middletown South Eagles, the second seed in this tournament, facing some true adversity. Jill Falvey, the Division I bound outstanding player out for the year with a torn ACL and another starter with a rolled ankle. Middletown South responded to the adversity in impressive fashion against seventh seeded Central Regional. Coach Tom Brennan's team looked awfully sharp despite being short-handed. A huge first half for Middletown South closes out when Alexandra Balsamo shows the range at the half. It's Middletown South with a 32 to 11 lead over Central Regional. Second half, the Lady Eagles open up with an 8-0 run. Madison Curtis, the steal and the beautiful drive for two. The Golden Eagles got solid production out of Alexis Holloway. She gets the three to rattle in here. She had eight points, but it was all Middletown South in this one. Stephanie Cars is a complete player. Here, check out the great hands to handle the feed and finish. And then Cars gets the rebound. She's able to pull up and stick the J. Stephanie Cars leads all scores with 19, 59 to 28 the final. Middletown South advances to the semifinals where they'll face third seeded RBC on Sunday evening. And after the game, Cars look forward to that matchup. We're very excited. We're trying to get as far as we can and we know that we can go as far as we want to. A lot of us are friends with RBC, but once we get out there, it's all basketball related. Night before opening night, we lost uh, Falvey, 6-1 center, to uh, an ACL. And yesterday, about 8 o'clock last night, found out we didn't have a starting guard. Haley Delonzo sprained an ankle. Um, so, you know, some other kids have some dings and dents. It's, you know, everybody's a little hurt. But when you, when you find out late like that, it kind of can take wind out of your sails. And right now we're more or less in the circle the wagons type of mode, you know. And I think just trying to get kids to play for each other a little bit more than they usually would. More quarterfinal highlights from Pine Belt Arena. Number four, Freehold Township against fifth seeded Colts Neck. What a great first quarter for the Cougars. Alana Janello off the bench hits the three and Janello was feeling it from the outside. Here, another triple. And then it's Noel Frost getting the baseline J to fall at the buzzer. At the end of one quarter, Colts Neck has a 12-4 lead but Freehold Township would take over the rest of the way. This is senior Tori Wagner on the inside. She is smooth and skilled in the paint. Then it's Taylor Devlin with the three-pointer. Freehold Township goes on to the 38-28 win over Colts Neck. It'll be the Patriots taking on top-seeded Mana Squad in the semifinals. At Long Branch High School, the Lady Wave Tournament tipped off on Friday. The host school taking on Keyport and Shikasha Andrews was a force for the green wave. Here, great ball handling and the drive for two. And what a game for Andrews. She had 21 points, six rebounds, six assists, and four steals. 57 to 27 is your final. Long Branch with a big win over Keyport. We stay in Long Branch for another first round matchup in the Lady Wave Tournament. It's Mammoth Regional up by 10 at the end of three over Old Bridge but it was all Old Bridge in the fourth. Megan Dowdell knocking down the three. We're tied at 38. Then under a minute to go, it's Amanda Carney for the lead. She scored 26 points, 43 to 38 is your final. Old Bridge closes the game on an 11-0 run and they outscore Monmouth Regional 18 to three in the fourth quarter. We will continue our high school basketball coverage all weekend long. On Saturday, the boys take center stage. We'll pay a visit to the Husky Classic in Matawan, as well as right back here for the WOBM Christmas Classic and a great tournament at Red Bank Regional. For our staff at Shore Sports Zone, I'm Rich Crampanis. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all weekend long with more Holiday Hoops.